Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we got a service call for a PTAC unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So let's turn this unit on. Okay, it's set to 64 degrees, cooling and our indoor fan is at high speed. Got a little bit of vibration. Okay, this unit's not secured, so that, that's why we have some vibration and our temperatures are coming down. Complaint was no control here. So this is our pad. Let me see if I get my finger in here. the button sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't 62 degrees and dropping so we are cooling we have noise and we have no good control here I actually clicked the down button for temperature and the fan speed changed this bad must be, this board must be bad okay you can hear that vibration if I just press down here it goes away Right? Just need a couple of screws here. Easy. Alright, so I unplug the unit. Here's the control pad and it's so hard to get to that control panel and plug the opposite end out. Just to make my life easier. I'm gonna do all my work from here. I'm just gonna pull this out a little bit. Here's the new board. This is how it comes, which kind of sucks. But I guess we gotta open this up and put this in. So here's the board. Okay. So it comes out just like that. Easy. Plug and play. And just put the screws back in it's really simple as that one screw doesn't match up actually you can only put one two and three oh no I could put four screws this one doesn't hold There's no space on the new board for the fifth screw. But really, that should do it. Okay, so I couldn't really talk loud as the tenant was in the house, but whenever you're dealing with one of these and you can't fully control it, or if you click one function and you get a different one, then 100% you gotta replace this. This is called an EGTC pad. Also a control pad for the PTAC unit. And basically this had no control. And at the same time, 
we had vibration in the unit, so we secured it with the screws. All right, turn the power back on. Let's turn it on. Okay, start at 75. Good, we have control. Press it just started. Temperatures are coming down. It's much quieter after I put in the screws. This definitely needs a cleaning. This, this could be brushed down. Very dirty. Sounds good. And we are running. Alright. Let's test the fan speeds. Low speed. Okay. Put it to high speed. Okay, definitely switched. Good. Temperature went down a little bit too low last time, but listen, if it works, it works. So that's that. I'm just gonna brush this down, clean this filter, and we're ready to roll. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.